Now, one of the goals of this show is to highlight the amazing people and events that happen in the esports and competitive gaming space. And every week, we'll try to feature one of them different personalities. And this time, like talked about the recent signing of the Rocket League squad, Method GG, being picked up by the big boys. Boom. That's Complexity Gaming. Yes, this is a big deal. Rocket League is still a new title and still growing. So to see an org like Complexity picked up by a team, uh, it's a pretty big deal. Talk about how big a deal this is. We have Complexity GM Kyle Batista with us today to talk about Rocket League. Kyle, welcome to the show. Welcome in. How are you? Hey guys, thanks for having me. Yeah, yeah, thanks for coming on. Absolutely, man. Um, yeah, so, yeah, so yeah. for pe like people who don't know who you are, uh, can you tell a little what bit about do? what you do and who you are? Sure. So I am Vice President and General Manager here at Complexity. Uh, it's a long-winded way of saying that I've got my hands in pretty much everything. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, competition, I do business development, I work with our video social teams. Um, so pretty much all day-to-day -day operations kind of pass through me. Nice. Totally. You wow. are the funnel, Kyle. That's intense. So, okay, so complexity has been in the news a lot lately, especially with some of the MF NFL greats. They're known as the Texas Rangers. Not Cowboys. Texas Rangers, Cowboys. Cowboys. <laughs> Those are it's a different great, different kind different of sport. sport. Right. Doesn't yeah. matter. But anyway, they're okay. They're okay. Exactly. Football's better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, amen. I'd agree. I'd agree. So, uh, obviously, Cowboys buying a majority stake in the org late last year, joining the ranks of traditional sports teams, buying into competitive gaming teams. It's kind of in vogue right now. Yeah. So, we know the complexity releases a video series called complexity pov which delves into how the org Check operates right in your own words and experience so that's a long-winded way of saying how have things changed in recent months oh, they, a lot yeah <laughs> <they changed. laughs> a lot we went from having very few full-time employees that i think we've got um, over 20 full-time employees now wow we just opened up our third temporary office we're building an 11,000 square foot uh, office right next to the Cowboys World Headquarters, which oh, is going nice. to be absolutely amazing. And I think people don't really understand just how integrated with the Cowboys we actually are. I'm over there probably four days a week for a couple hours working with their sales teams, marketing teams, working with their video guys. Our Call of Duty team just did a photo shoot with them yesterday. Yeah. So it's a lot of integration and uh, it's a really great partnership but people should check out pov to see just what's changing around here yeah nice, yeah. nice plug by the way <laughs> yeah, and good. they should though it's yeah, a it's a it's really, really well cool. done series quite yeah. honestly and like that whole space like the, the cowboy space the headquarters and stuff is beautiful like mm. the the offices and everything it's a really nice area so yeah. i'm sure you guys are going to really enjoy being there yeah yeah it's well, really yeah. nice <laughs> yeah well yeah okay so obviously you guys have been expanding into other titles most recently mm. signing a rocket league team the former method gg squad of magnus alt and mentasaur i knew i was going to get this not name wrong Men sorry oh. kyle it's 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 Metz Metz Thank you. Yeah. Talk to us a little bit about why Rocket League and why this team in particular. Rocket League, oh man. It's been a game <laughs> we've wanted to get in for a really long time. It's an amazing game, but first and foremost, I'm stuck in silver, so oh. I need somebody <laughs> to carry me out. That's, That's really the main reason. Sure, no, sure. But, I'm um, glad you're being honest, Kyle. <laughs> It's a really good game. It's very different. We have so yeah. many games that are very complex, and you've got some of these like kind of gun game, shooter games. This one's so different. It's family friendly. It's easy to watch, easy to play, but like a huge, tremendous skill cap. We released a highlight video today from our team, and I was like, no, I'm just <laughs> <laughs> give me a million years. That's never going to be me. So it, it's just really, really exciting. We love the game. All of us here at Complexity, the staff, we all play it constantly. We do in-houses and stuff. So we're just really excited to be in it. That's that's uh, it's a good point to bring up in the sense that like it's definitely an accessible esport being yeah. not violent and like a, sh a traditional shooter MOBA or yeah. something like that. Like it's 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 a fun game. Like let's get into the fun. Olympics, Kyle. We oh, can do we can it. do it. We can do it. We can if make it happen. Everything's gonna be in the Olympics. I mean, it might be. It might, it's got to be Rocket League. Now, with uh, Rocket League Season 5 starting up soon and a new team, uh, are there any upcoming plans to allow viewers to learn more about them outside of the tournament? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, we actually just released our very first Rocket League highlight video today on our YouTube. So nice. our guys are all doing streaming. We grab clips. We do that. We're going to be doing match highlights. Um, and although the team is not going to be coming out to work with us in Frisco, we hope to have them out occasionally and to be able to produce some content either with them here in Texas or take our content team over to Europe or wherever that they might be at events so that people can get to know them because they're really awesome, passionate guys, and we want to tell their stories. 
Nice. That's awesome. Okay, so obviously one of our favorite questions on this show, and I suspect one that you've been asked a million times, whether you're talking to somebody on the street or one of these more traditional sports team owners or sports team staffers is, what about esports or competitive gaming is so intriguing? Why should they get into it? What is your answer to that question? My answer is that about one in four people on the world play video games relatively regularly. Yeah. And uh, that number is only growing every single year. I mean, people talk to their grandmas and they're sitting there playing Candy Crush and all these games <laughs> on their phone. And soon enough, games like that might be esports or competitive in their own way. So mm -hmm. it's the wave of the future. There's, yeah. there's no stopping it. It's yeah. too big at this point. So you might as well get in on the ground level and you can be a hipster like the rest of us. <laughs> <laughs> so oh, thank God. So what else trendy. to say? It. Yeah, <laughs> so trendy to be a Rocket League fan. <laughs> Kyle, <laughs> thank you so much, man. Where can people find you and your work? And do you have any special shout outs before we let you go? Yeah. Uh, I want to thank you guys for having me on yeah. the show. Really great. We watch it every week. And uh, <laughs> thanks to everybody over at Complexity for all the great work that everybody's been doing over here. Couldn't do it without you. To our uh, partner investors, Jerry Jones and John Goff, really appreciate that. And to everybody watching. All right. And uh, where on YouTube can we find some of this POV footage? Stuff? Absolutely. Head on over to YouTube.com slash Complexity Insider. Uploads every day. Sweet. Awesome. awesome. Kyle, you are a delight. Thank you Thank so you. much. And we'll be watching. We'll be watching this year. Yeah. Take care, man. We'll see ya. Bye. Oh, I like good. that guy. Yeah, I know. What well, a good well spoken. Well spoken. He yeah. does his stuff. I like it.